the other day I was talking about a chap who was exhilarated, young man, very excited, very excited to be free of religion. And um, we got to talking, and I, I asked him a little bit. You know, uh, I like to hear where people are coming from, and the specifics of what this freedom meant seemed a little vague. You know, I'm asking, so, okay, so what does this mean now? What do you do now? How is your life different? press for details and he could not come up with ten times that he's been inside a church or a religious setting in his lifetime. But now, at 19, he is now free of the word freedom came up a lot in that conversation. It came up a lot. And given how frequently it was used, it was a little distressing that they were unable to provide me with even the scantest of details of what that freedom actually meant. I'm free of lots of things. But I try to make it a point of only dedicating time, thought, and energy to those freedoms that are actually substantial. There's something concerning about somebody heavily personally invested in a freedom that seems to have less impact on their life than I feel using a detergent that's free of perfumes. <laughs>